period, which is the 1620s, is full of marvelous ornament, sort of uh, French Renaissance ornament. And it occurred to me that I had the perfect book to realize this, which is a Dover edition. Dover does reprints of uh, older books. Um, of a pattern book from 1598, actually, um, created by a man named Dietrich Witterlin, who was German and who produced 200 odd engravings for use as a decorative vocabulary for architecture, um, for ornament, for pageants, things like that. And um, uh, this was a perfect kind of black and white, um, uh, not dimensional, but um, uh, evoking dimension through engraving, uh, source of ornament for the design. And so that became a sort of Bible for the design. And took apart these engravings and recombined them to make the scenery. So um, that sense of the script and that particular piece of research were um, what we used. Uh, Mark and I have done several other plays together. Um, 39, the 39 Steps and Around the World in 80 Days and those events were not dissimilar from this one uh, in that they involve many scenes, many actors, many requirements um, and it certainly would have been a mistake to weigh down the play um, with big heavy units and so that required us to invent things for the um, 20 odd scenes in the play and Mark is great to work with that. We have a great time, we laugh a lot and uh, come up with jokes that we enjoy and hope the audience does. And um, that's the process because you're not ever designing in a vacuum. And if you are, you're making a big mistake um, because the director is the person that's going to come up those, with those decisions with you and um, make them work in the rehearsal hall and then on stage. Why didn't I pursue, <laughs> pursue podiatry, you mean? Um, <laughs> uh, it, I realized uh, when I got to college, having thought about being an actor at one point, um, I realized that I always enjoyed performance and that I had abilities that were visual. And so when I was a kid, I kept wondering how I would combine those. And uh, set design does that. Uh, it allows me to draw and to sculpt and to choose colors and to create space um, for use by performers. And so in a way, the scenery, my work can perform also, even though I'm not up there on stage saying lines.